Welcome to Physics 2100 at Cal State LA. This is video number 5 on applying Newton's laws. I'm your professor, Dr. Bijan Berenji. This is September 2016. Please refer to Chapter 5 to for the corresponding book chapter. Having been introduced to Newton's laws, we will now apply these laws to different physical situations. Components of net forces. The x, y, and z components of force may be related to the x, y, and z components of acceleration, as shown in equations 1, 2, and 3. Sigma fx equals max, sigma fy equals may, sigma fz equals maz. There are different types of forces. There are contact forces such as normal force, tension, and friction. There are also non-contact forces such as gravitational and electromagnetic. This list is not exhaustive. Force of weight. The force of weight is a gravitational force. It is a non-contact force, i.e. an object in free fall experiences the force of weight. It doesn't depend at all on contact. The force of weight can be expressed as W equals mg. The force of weight is determined by the acceleration due to gravity, g. It is important to note that in SI units, the weight of an object is given in newtons, not kilograms. Normal force. The normal force is the force that opposes the force of weight and any other forces pushing down on the object. In the case of an object on the ground with no other forces applied to it other than gravity, Fn equals negative W. Frictional forces. The force of friction opposes the direction of the motion of an object. The force of friction between two objects with relative motion is FF equals to mu N, where no N is the normal force, and mu is the coefficient of kinetic friction. If an object is moving along the I hat direction, the force of friction will be oriented along the negative I hat direction. When pushing an object that isn't moving, the coefficient of static friction is applicable. Example 1. What is the coefficient of, kin of kinetic friction for an object on an inclined plane? Uh, well, we use uh, mg sine theta equals mu n, mg sine theta equals mu mg cosine theta, mu equals to tan theta. So on the ground or on a surface, uh, there is a coefficient of friction which determines how strong the frictional force will be. Tension. In force problems, often two objects are connected with a massless cord. The force is transmitted betwe between them by the force of tension T. Example 2. What is the acceleration by two masses M1 and M2 suspended on either end of a massless cord over a pulley? Let the tension in the cord be T and let the accelerations of the two masses be A. Let 
then apply Newton's second law to each object. M1g minus t equals m1a, t minus m2g equals m2a. Eliminate t between the two equations and solve for a. We finally obtain a equals m1 minus m2 divided by m1 plus m2 times g. Equilibrium. A body in translational equilibrium has no force, no net force acting on it. Sigma f equals zero. This is equivalent to sigma fx equals zero, sigma fy equals zero. Example 3. Consider an object which is being pulled on the ground at an angle with a force of t equals 100 newtons and theta equals 30 degrees, as shown in figure 1. Find the acceleration of the object and the normal force. Example 3 continued. Consider the free body diagram for a mass being pulled on a level frictionless surface. Uh, we have the normal force pointing in the y positive y direction, mg pointing in the negative y direction, and t which with, with components in the x and y directions. Example 3 continued. So uh, we now find the acceleration of the object on the normal force. So we so solve for the sigma fy and sigma fx. So sigma fy equals to t sine theta plus fn, the normal force, minus w, which is equal to may. Sigma fx equals t cosine theta equals to max. But we know that the acceleration in the y direction is zero, so ay equals zero. Solving the equation, we find ax equals t cos theta over m. Example 4. An inclined plane is inclined at an angle theta with the horizontal. A mass m of 100 grams is sliding down the plane with a coefficient of co kinetic friction of mu equals to 0 0.01. Find the acceleration of the mass. So we can consider the free body diagram again of this, uh, of this in figure 2. Um, we have the normal force, uh, mg and ff, which is uh, the frictional force is opposite the direction of the gravitational, the component of the gravitational acceleration along the plane. Um, the dashed arrows represent the components of the weight vector along the plane and perpendicular to the plane. 
Example 4 continued. An inclined plane is... So, uh, we have a mass m of 100 grams sliding down the plane with a coefficient of kinetic friction of mu equals 0 0.01. So we're supposed to find the acceleration of the mass. We have n minus mg cosine theta equals ay equal to zero. In the x direction, ax equals the mu n minus mg sine theta. We define the x direction to be along the plane. mg, mu, MG times mu cosine theta minus sine theta equals the ax. Free body diagrams. Often we will make free body diagrams to represent the forces on each body in the situation. This allows us to more easily compute the force law equations. We draw the directions of the forces acting on each body. Force pairs represent equal and opposite forces acting on two bodies according to Newton's third law. Free body diagrams. Consider three bodies in contact. Uh, so we have M1, M2, and M3, which are three masses. Mass 1 exerts a force on mass 2. Mass 2 exerts an equal and opposite force on mass 1. On the, on the right, we show the free body diagram for M1, M2, and M3. Each body has gravity acting on it. So, as an example, we consider three masses which are contact on a level frictionless surface. Force F is applied to mass 1, as shown previously. Mass 1 exerts a force on mass 2, which is equal and opposite to the force mass 2 exerts on mass 1. Mass 2 likewise exerts a force on mass 3, which is equal and opposite to mass 3 ex exerts on mass 2. So uh, we can write an equation. So F minus F2 on 1 equals to M1A, which is the acceleration. Uh, likewise, the four F1 on 2 minus F3 on 2 equals M2A. And for M3, has only F2 on 3 acting on it. Centripetal force. We studied in the last lecture how the acceleration for uniform circular motion is given by A equals V squared over R. The centripetal force, the force of attraction of the body towards the center of the circle, is given by F equals MV squared over R. Example 5. What is the radius of a circle for uniform circular motion? If F equals 100 newtons, velocity V equals 10 meters per second, and M equals 100 kilograms. We use the formulas for the centripetal force, mv squared over r. So we solve for r given m, the velocity, and the force to so obtain r equals 10 meters. We will look at two exercises in the following remainder of this video. Exercise 1. Find the coefficient of 
friction mu for an object at rest on in an inclined plane with an angle of inclination theta. Solution. We calculate the components of the forces in the x and y directions. Sigma fx equals mu n minus mg sine theta equals to zero. Sigma fy equals n minus mg cosine theta equals to zero. Write the expression for sigma fx and set it equal to zero. Finally, we solve the expression for the value of mu. Mu equals to tangent theta. Exercise 2. Find the tension in an elevator car of mass 1,000 kilograms accelerating downwards with an acceleration of 0.1 g. Solution. Find the net force in the y direction. Sigma Fy equals mg minus t equals ma. We are given that a equals 0.1g. So solving, we obtain t equals 0.9mg and that the tension equals to 8800 newtons.